Richard Arbiza, will JPJ be like Nosh? Everyone knows we're getting him. I think it's between him and Addison. Those are the two names that... Everybody's like just, yeah, foregone. Yep. I'm trying to think back to... What was it, 2021 with Najee's draft? Yeah. Yeah, he was the main guy. Mm -hmm. We were also talking about tackles, like a Tevin Jenkins. Were there guards? Because I don't even remember talking about Creed Humphrey in the first round. I remember just me and you going between Najee and Etienne. Yeah. And day of you went Najee, I went ETN. And they literally went like back to back. Was it they, they went back to back, right? From correctly? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those running backs were good. Yeah. Najee, ETN, and then Javon Williams. But we Williams. yeah, but we knew it was gonna be one of those two. Cause we thought well, we thought one of the three actually. But we like I remember when we came in here though, that was when we like finally was like, all right, who are you picking? Who am I picking? And that's kinda how we went with it. I don't yeah. remember what other positions we were talking about. I know last oh, year we were line. talking about Devin Lloyd and the linebackers. We definitely talked. I remember Tevin GBs. Jenkins. I remember us talking Tevin. Because all the good O-line prospects went early. Yeah. And that's why we were like, okay, then there it's becomes be a, a second yeah. tier. But whenever we're picking, I think it was around 20 or 22. Yeah. That's when the tier RBs are going to go. Mm-hmm. So you're not going to be able to get them in the At second 55, round. 55, right. But you're missing out on all these top O line prospects. Yeah. Do you want to just settle for these second tier guys? Correct. Even though we, I mean, we still needed O line help, and yeah. we still needed it after that draft. <laughs> yeah, <they>, technically, <laughs> we still do. Yeah, we gonna get it right eventually. Yeah, because no one fell. Yeah, like no one fell from those early rounds. Hmm. I think yeah, Najee. It felt like he was the pick, and yeah. in this case. I do feel like if Porter Jr. is there, there's a good chance. There's a good likelihood. Yeah. It's interesting, though. The connection for the name, yes. But I can definitely see why people have brought up, was it Christian Gonzalez and uh, and Witherspoon? I 100% understand why. So that's why I was you over liking here. them? I don't think it's like, I think for the bloodline of the name, it's a no-brainer. But I think if you take all their names off, I don't think it's a no brainer. And I love like you know, P's. That's my man's like JJ. Like I said, seeing him when he was a young pup out there working, getting it in, and it's dope to see where he's grown to now. But watching the other dudes, I was like, oh yes, it's I see it. Like they all three are dope. All three dope. Yeah. All three bring something unique to the table. But I don't think it's as clear that it's like yo, this is like the guy guy. Like I think. You could make a case for any one of them. I'm still early on in my process to have watching the tape on those three dudes, but I definitely see why, like, when we've talked about PZ Jr. in the chat and people that say, nah, I like the other guy better, I like this guy, I hadn't watched him. Now watch, I'm like, yeah, I definitely can understand why y'all say what y'all say. So, with that being said, today's show is brought to you by... <coughs> Giraffe Giraffe King Sportsbook, you know. The top rated sports booking app in the U.S. And when you talk about why DraftKings Sportsbook is dope, it's because they're safe, they're secure, and they are reliable. Meaning, when you're supposed to get paid, you get paid on time. Speaking of, shout out to Deke. He paid me on time, man. I did, Deke pays his bets on time because he's reliable. He's consistent. He's safe. Just like DraftKings Sportsbook. And when it comes to DraftKings, if you put your, you know, $5 deposit down your first bet and you use the promo code MOATS, that's M-O-A-T-S, you will receive $200 in draft deposit money. It's free money. It's money that you use to go make more money potentially, all right? It's a great concept. It's a great situation. Promo code. You put it in. You get that money out. You see how we work, right? But, Deke, you know, I also got to talk about how <sighs> some people can't handle this lifestyle. Some people cannot handle gambling. They might have a problem. Shoot, they might even need some crisis counseling, Deke. Deke, I know there's one person, they needed referral services. They were in New York, too. So I just told them this little number they could text, and it was cool. But for everybody else, you know what I tell them? What's that? It's his number you got to call. And it goes like, one, a hundred gambler. I said, one, a hundred gambler. 